Okay, here I've embroidered my ear and done the placement line and then done the inside. And I'm going to lay this on here and with the right side down. And if you want your ears the other way, you lay this on the back and stitch around. Okay, I've sewn my ear out, so now we're just going to turn it, and for me, one of the ways, like I found this pipe in the shop, and I stick it up in there, I don't know if I can do this on film, and just Okay, it's kind of hard to see on here, but I stitched my placement line. And you want to, for this, my line is here, and we need this extra to fold up. So you want to make sure that's down, and you got plenty of room up there. Okay, I've done my appliques for the back. And I just wanted to show you how to do the pocket. There's a stitch around here. You take a piece of fabric, fold it over, place the folds right up against the stitching, and it'll stitch around there. Okay, it's stitched out the pocket, and so you want to trim here, and you can leave a rough edge, or there is a satin stitch that you can go over. Okay, here's the back down. We're not going to tear off the stabilizer because we need to use this line for measuring. But I'm going to set it aside and then I'll show you that after I finish the front. Now we're going to work on the front. I've done the placement line and you only need a piece that more or less covers on the front. You want enough for a seam line. Okay, for my ears, here's the ears. I folded them in and stitched across here just to make them so they set like that. You can leave them flat if you want. And then for the ears, there's a placement line there. I made it long so you can place them wherever you want. You just sort of have to line them up how you want. But so you'll place them along there and stitch them down. Okay, I accidentally tore my stabilizer off, but where there was a line, we measured down and made our line, measured down an inch and a half and made, made my line. And then I made a few markers just so I know where to place it, like the center. And so this line you want to line up with this stitch line here.
Now see that there's a line that goes like right there. You want to line this line up there. And where you have your stitch line, you want to line that up. And just sort of estimate that you have it in the center where it's going to be sewed. Okay, we've stitched our line there, so we're going to fold this down, and we'll stitch a line there, then fold it back up, and we should be pretty well lined up. And then we'll stitch around, and like I said in the instructions, since my ears are so thick, I'm going to baby it through the ears, I'll stitch up here. And stop before it hits the ear and kind of help it through there and go slow. Okay, I have it stitched out with my little pleat at the bottom. And I'm going to trim around here and leave an opening, leave the opening a little larger. So I trimmed it out with pinking shears and you don't notice I left this a little bit longer. We'll go along and clip the curves a little bit so that it lays better, especially here by the ears. And then turn it inside out. And then you have your little pleat at the bottom. So that he'll set up like that. And I'm going to fill mine with sand. You want to fill it with something for weight. You can use rice, corn, anything you want. I thought for the weight I would use sand. I'm going to put sand, and I did put my sand in a bag because I used, just for, it wouldn't leak out. Put however much sand you want and then finish filling up with filler. And then we'll go along and sew this shut. So here's all the different sizes, the little 4x4, 5x7, and the 6x9, and the 8x10 or 12. And they all have the little back on them. <laughs> 